What up nomads? In this video, I'm inviting you along to pack with me for a spring trip. I'll walk you through my trip preparation steps, my thought process, how I make decisions, and show you exactly what I packed. First, let's lay out the details of this packing list. This one is for a one week trip, but with access to a washing machine, this travel capsule wardrobe could easily be stretched for a trip as long as two months, if the weather doesn't fluctuate too much. For my trip, it'll be mostly sunny with some chances of wind and rain and temperatures averaging 10 to 20 Celsius or 50 to 68 Fahrenheit. My activities will be pretty much everyday life, so working from home, dinners, museum visits, some family time, and perhaps a few more outdoorsy activities. I'll show you through my packing process how I would make some micro adjustments if my trip were more sporty or if the weather were suddenly a bit warmer. So the vibe here is definitely casual, but a little dressy to match my personal style. I'm very driven by color, so the easiest way for me to start packing is to pick a color scheme for my trip. That just helps me make that first edit, have a starting point and a theme. For this trip, I'm choosing blues and greens along with neutrals like black, white, cream, and gray. I'm also a very visual person, so seeing the clothes out in the light instead of in my dark and cramped closet and dresser is the easiest way for me to see them and start putting together outfits. I do the same for outerwear, accessories, and shoes, so my packing is concentrated to one room. It's like getting all your ingredients and tools out before starting to bake a cake. I try to do this at least a day or two before my actual trip because I hate feeling rushed and sometimes I need time to wash, iron, or mend the clothing I ultimately decide to bring. I even unpacked my packable raincoat and put it on a hanger so I could easily test outfit ideas as I pack. Alright, here's my short list of what I'm considering for my spring transitional weather packing list. This is a little cotton top that I picked up at a thrift store that is a great layering piece and can be worn open or closed and layered. This is a knit vest that is also great for layering or just worn on its own as a tank. In the same vest theme, I've got this more dressy wool uh, suiting fabric vest from Koss that I love on its own or as a layering piece as well. This is a very casual cotton shirt, which I would pack if this were a more laid back type of capsule. This mesh top, also great for layering in transitional seasons. It's great under dresses and tanks or with a bodysuit underneath. This is a situation where um, an item requires another item to be packed with it. So I would put them together to make sure I don't forget one or the other. I have two identical tops here in different colors, which is uh, true for a couple of different items of clothing, even in this packing list. So I'm putting them together because I'll probably only bring one. This sweatshirt is a super cute crop style that has a lot of personality. The only downside is it's hard to layer under leather jackets. This top is a twist on a classic button up shirt. So the buttons are on the side and it's got this cool, um, like boat neck look going that can be also off the shoulder if you want to wear it that way. I have another dress shirt. This one is a menswear shirt and it has wool in it. So it can kind of be a nice over shirt as well. And similarly, this is a silk black button up shirt, which I also wear sometimes as a jacket. This is a knit top with some cutaways, which are very trendy this spring. So this was a nice kind of going out top that's not too fussy. This dress is a blend of merino wool, so it's actually quite warm, but it is super versatile and it can be dressed up or dressed down with sneakers, so I'm definitely packing this one. Depending on whether I'm gonna be spending time outside hiking or um, playing outside with my nephews, I may bring this fleece TBD. Or I could bring a sweatshirt too. So I have some options for warmer sweaters. These are two trousers that are kind of similar in vibe. They're kind of a silky fabric uh, trouser. One is silk navy and the other one is a black synthetic polyester blend. 
In terms of outerwear, I have the options of packing my leather jacket, which is a great versatile piece. I could also dress down any of these outfits with an oversized denim jacket, which can fit nicely over sweaters. And lastly, I have this packable rain jacket, which depending on the weather forecast will probably make the cut. I've also selected four colors of jeans, gray, white, blue, and black, some workout leggings and jogging pants, and just a selection of tanks, t-shirts, and long sleeve shirts in colors that go with my color scheme. I don't think I'll edit these down all that much because they're all great basics. For shoes, I pulled out a selection of, I mean, pretty much all the shoes I own that are appropriate for this season. Some canvas sneakers, some leather sneakers, some ballet flats, pointy flats, and workout shoes. And I threw in some sandals there just to show you what I might do if this were a slightly warmer travel capsule. For accessories, once I had my color scheme and activities, I was pretty much able to narrow down my list. The biggest decisions left are whether I wanna bring a backpack or a tote bag as my personal item, and whether I think I need a warm beanie or a rain bucket hat. Now this is where we really get down to the decision making and making an edit of these items. So I'll be the first to say this is going to be a very generous packing list for seven days. I could definitely pack less. But if you're looking at this capsule as a capsule wardrobe for the entire spring season, then I think this is a great selection that has plenty of opportunity for mixing and matching. So I would start with two to three pairs of shoes, three to four pairs of pants, but you could easily swap out pants for skirts or shorts, depending on your trip, one dress, one to two outer layers, so your outerwear, four to six tops, and that can be blouses or t-shirts or tank tops, and then one to two sweaters, depending on how thick the sweater is uh, and how much room you have in your suitcase. So the first thing on the chopping block is really everything that would be in a very outdoorsy and sporty capsule. So the best way for me to uh, make this decision is just to try stuff on. So here I'm trying on a couple different coats, different shoes, different hats, some of the long sleeve shirts and sweaters that would be more fitting for an outdoorsy capsule. Just to see if I feel strongly that these are items that I want to bring or looks that I would like to be able to create. I want to talk a little bit about my philosophy and tips for packing pants. For this capsule, my pants are kind of falling into three categories. I've got my selection of denim, and I have that in four colors so far. I've also got my workout pants, and I've chosen two models. And I've got two pairs of silky, kind of dressy pants. Now, you can have pants that are the same color, but fall into all three of these categories. So here, you can see that I've got three pairs of black pants and they all serve different functions. So the question I usually ask myself is, well, one, can I cut one? Do I need all three? And then secondly, if I need one from each category, maybe I pick the black dressy pants, but then I pick denim in a different color. So I've got a pair of white jeans instead or blue jeans. And for my workout wear, you know, maybe I don't need the jogger pants and I only need a pair of leggings for doing some Pilates. So I'd rather bring the pair of dressy black pants for all of my black pant needs. So that's really how I make sure that I'm only bringing pants that really help give me more options rather than potentially packing duplicates. After trying on my leather jacket and my raincoat, I'm pretty sure I want to bring both of them. One I will wear on the plane and the rain jacket packs up into a really small pouch so it doesn't take up too much room in my suitcase. But I want to make sure that I won't miss my denim jacket so I'll try on a few more outfits. Because I'm packing a pair of blue jeans that are similar color, I'm okay with not having a Canadian tuxedo as an option and leaving my denim jacket at home. 
Now I still have a lot of tops that I need to edit out. So I'm gonna go through and really just be realistic about what combinations will give me the most options, where I imagine wearing these things, and if I truly be okay with some of the more simple, versatile options that I have. I also have some very similar items, but in different colors. So take these two shirts, for example. I have them in two colors as well as this top that I have in two colors. So if I bring the silk blouse in black, I might bring the ribbed shirt in white or vice versa. And if I bring the white shirt, then, oh, all of a sudden I have the option of layering it under this knit vest. So I just kind of go through the rail and mix and match things, see what's giving me the most options and depending on how warm I think it'll be. These two tops are similar in terms of their purpose, but the um, weather that they would be worn in would be slightly different. I really do try to give myself as much time as possible to play dress up because this helps me validate my outfit ideas. It will inform my final decision on bags and footwear. And sometimes it'll inspire an extra accessory to pack like a belt. And having these outfit combinations in advance will just allow me to have more freedom and flexibility on my trip. I won't have to think about it because the outfit combinations are already planned out. I find two to three pairs of shoes to be my sweet spot because it allows me the flexibility to have a more athletic shoe, a more casual shoe, and something that I can potentially dress up. And for this very casual capsule, my quote dressy shoes will be these ballet flats. I have also the option of swapping them out for a more pointed shoe flat if I want something a little bit dressier. And then for canvas sneakers, I've got plenty of options. And I always wanna throw in a leather sneaker or something more substantial in case it rains. Canvas, not my favorite for rainy weather. The rest is really up to you to see what you think will match the outfits that you've put together. For example, if it's gonna be warm and I'm gonna be a little bit more outdoors, then I might choose these very dirty Teva sandals or my Birkenstocks. Um, so you can have fun with this and test it out with your outfits and see if you feel like you're checking all the boxes for your weather and activities. Now that I've made my selection, I like laying it out either on the floor or on my bed just to see how everything is fitting together. This also helps me visualize if I'm missing anything. So on the left here, you'll see a bag with my socks and underwear and um, below that a tech case with my camera equipment and chargers. In this final list, I have two pairs of shoes, a leather jacket, a raincoat, one dress, two blouses, one of which can be worn as a light jacket, two pairs of jeans, one pair of dress pants, a pair of leggings, one tank, two short sleeves, and two long sleeve shirts. Rain hat, a baseball cap, and a decorative headband, and my cosmetics. I'm also packing two pairs of sunglasses, one belt, a handbag that can be worn as a shoulder bag or crossbody, and one large tote for my laptop and other items. I'm also packing socks, underwear, and PJs, jewelry box, my laptop, camera, phone, cables, my water bottle, wallet, and my travel pouch, which has clean masks, wipes, hand sanitizer, some medicine, some gum, and other knickknacks. So now it's actually time to start packing. So I like to start with my personal item and I pack my wallet, passport, travel documents, travel pouch, and then I put my laptop and some tech accessories, depending on the length of the flight, that might just be my AirPods or it could be my charger as well. I put my cosmetics in my carry-on in my bag there so it's easy to take out for TSA, an empty water bottle. I like bringing an extra bagu in case I buy snacks or magazines. And depending on the time of day that I'm traveling, some sunglasses. If it's a long, long flight, then I probably have a few more things, but this one is not. I like to select my travel day outfit pretty strategically, so usually it's the bulkiest items. 
Uh, so I've selected my maxi sweater dress and my sneakers and my leather jacket. So I'll set those aside for travel day. And the rest is going to fit into my suitcase. I have accumulated a lot of packing cubes over the years and a lot of my suitcases have come with their own laundry and shoe bags. So I just keep those handy, stowed away till I need them. So I'm starting out with a medium sized packing cube here and I know that I have plenty of room in my suitcase. I'm not gonna be too precious about this and just put all the pants together in one packing cube and zip that up. If there's a little bit more room left, I'll keep an eye on what I can stuff into those little nooks and crannies later on. Most likely socks and underwear. Then with this smaller packing cube, I'm gonna go ahead and roll up all of my tops. Most of these are pretty thin, so I can follow the same strategy with all of these and just roll them up, tuck them in nicely. And then for the blouses, I'm gonna leave those as they are and put that flat on top. If your packing cubes have good zippers, then you can overstuff them and use them as compression bags as well. I strategically put that on the side with the compression strap so I can shove that down even more. Here I'm gonna put a couple of smaller items, my jewelry box, my packable raincoat, some sunglasses wedged in between there for protection, my belt that I'll put in between there as well and then I'll move on to filling the next side. So here I'm gonna choose a packing cube. This one is ideal for two pairs of shoes. I only have one pair here and I'm gonna stuff them in the toes so that they don't get damaged and put them in this packing cube. I'm seeing that I could possibly fit in a second pair in that second part of the packing cube, but instead I'm gonna use it to stuff it full of socks and underwear and bras. And next I'll get my purse. Inside that purse is just some stuffing, but if I really ran out of space, I'd probably put more socks and underwear in there or the sunglasses or something like that. And then the Dyson is probably the most inconvenient thing to pack for me right now. The cable feels really long when I have to fit it in a suitcase, plus the diffuser attachment. Then I will fit these hats wherever they fit, trying not to crush that cap part. And before zipping this up, I would probably toss in one of those laundry bags to the left, just so that when I'm on the go, I have one place to separate my dirty laundry from my clean clothes. And that's it. That is how I pack for a trip. Let me know in the comments if you liked this style of video and other types of packing lists that you would be curious to see. Thanks for watching and happy travels. Thanks for watching this video until the end. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the capsule suitcase and turn on notifications so you get all the fresh content as soon as it comes out. Thanks for supporting this channel. Happy travels.